Hello everyone, welcome to Cheap Comic Collector Presents. Um, today we are taking a look at the uh, fifth episode of the Batman serial from the 1940s. Um, there's 15 serials in all, so we'll be doing this for a while, uh, since we're only doing one episode a week. And, um, and I recommend that that's how you watch them. I know everybody likes to binge watch these days, but uh, and I do too. Um, but you don't really enjoy these serials as much. And especially some serials, they recap everything that happened. And half the, half the episode sometimes is just recapping what happened the last episode. So if you're watching them right away in the order, uh, it becomes very repetitive. Um, but this one doesn't tend to do that too much. Um, <laughs> one note about last week's episode. Uh, uh, Dr. Daka, the, the uh, uh, villain of this movie, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> uh, um, I had mentioned that Roy Thomas used him as an all star squadron as Prince Daka, and uh, this episode actually reveals that he is uh, Prince Daka in this film serial as well. That, um, uh, the submarine captain early in the episode uh, when talking to him over the radio calls him Prince uh, Daka. So, so he is indeed, uh, that's not something Roy Thomas made up. That is from this serial. Um, but today I wanted to talk about the actor uh, who's playing Batman. First time Batman's ever been on film. Uh, actor's name is Lewis Wilson. Um, and this was one of his very first roles. He had a couple of movies that came out the same year this did. And so I'm not sure, you know, what was shot first or anything like that. But uh, um, pretty inexperienced at this point. He went on to have uh, several roles in different things. Um, was, didn't, wasn't an actor all his life. Uh, but uh, um, a, a couple of, of things that he did play... Uh, he went on to, there's a old TV show lasted one season called uh, Craig Kennel Criminologist. And he was this kind of the second lead in that. Um, from never seen the show, but from what I've read about it, it's kind of like a Sherlock Holmes, Dr. Watson type uh, sort of character. And uh, he played the uh, Dr. Watson reporter uh, type as a sidekick to the lead Um and then he also uh, was in the movie uh, Once Upon a Time in 1944, which was a uh, Cary Grant property. But also in that movie is the uh, actor um, William Austin, who, who played Alfred in this serial. They're, they're both in that movie and in, uh, you know, relatively minor roles. Um in 1951, he was in a uh, movie that was a TV pilot uh, called Adventures of Ricochet. And uh, I mean, that, you know, light bulb went off my head when I saw that title, because, of course, there's a comic strip uh, that was Ricochet. And, and it's a Western and the movie's a Western. So I thought, well, there must, you know, it must have been an adaptation of the comic strip. Um but that does not seem to be the case. Comic strip started uh, in seven years later in 1958. So if anything, the movie was an inspiration of some sort for the comic strip and not the other way around. Now, I've never read the comic strip and I've never seen the movie. So I can't tell you <laughs> if there's any similarities other than the name. Um, but he was in that uh, as one of the deputies to the main uh character i believe and um yeah so his his greatest fame to claim to fame is basically playing you know the batman in this serial um uh he did i mean he appeared in some other movies and things too but nothing very noteworthy that i aware of uh uh and then when they did the Batman and Robin serial a few laters after this, um, he was, you know, the Batman part was recast. A different actor played Batman in that serial. So um, he passed away in the year 2000. 
and uh, that's about it. He retired from acting for the most part in sometime in the 50s. He may have done like a couple things in the 70s, um, but for the most part, that was it. <laughs> um, and uh, that's pretty much all I've been able to find out about the man. Um, it is in interesting to note that um, since they didn't really give Batman and Robin a backstory in this serial, that the uh, villain kind of takes center stage. Uh, and he is pretty much the most interesting character in the serial because of that, because there's no backstory, there's no origin story uh, for Batman and Robin. Um, their most interesting thing is that they wear costumes, basically. <laughs> um so the villain, uh, yeah, gets a lot of the good lines, um, and uh, uh, that's yeah, it, it, and that's I think why the serial features quite a few more scenes. It seems like with the villain than it actually does with the heroes. Uh, but anyway, here is chapter five. And his men plan the theft of a vital radium ship with success almost in their grasp. They meet opposition from Batman. Well, where are they? I don't see them. He dropped back. Maybe I got his tire. <laughs> I think so. Take it easy for a minute. I'll go over and see if there's anything I can do for those men in the armored car. Well, I'd better do it. it. Won't be a very pretty sight. Besides, I gotta get that radium gun. Change your clothes and turn the car around. You are aware that your late colleagues not only failed miserably in their attempt to get the much needed radium for our secret weapon, but they have also lost their worthless lives. My shortwave radio. Captain Curry, I've contacted Prince Tucker. Go ahead. Captain Nomo Kuri, commanding submarine 918 of His Majesty Hirohito's Imperial Navy, has message for His Highness Prince Tito Daka. This is Dr. Tito Daka. What is your message, Captain Curie? We carry a large, valuable package for you from Japan. Unfortunately, we cannot deliver same to you directly. Where do you intend to leave it, Captain? Please pick up package at Smuggler's Rocks at low tide tonight. Follow instructions of Plan 94. Banzai. Banzai. Fletcher, contact Hill's Brothers Mortuary and rent a hearse. Line up your new men for tonight and proceed as outlined in Plan 94. 
The afternoon mail just arrived, sir. Alfred, what's that? Oh, nothing of any interest, sir. Just an advertisement. I was going to throw it away. Let's see it. I thought I told you never to throw anything away. Oh, but if I saved all the trash that comes through the mail, sir, we'd clutter up an entire room with it. Notice how the stamps are fixed on this envelope? Oh, I should say that's rather odd. It's a code message. Come over here and I'll show you. Just a blank page. Oh, that's a good one on you, sir. Probably one of those April Fool Day jokes. Not quite, Alfred. Put that in the tray. Enemy has knowledge of construction of new design aeroplane motor at Lockwood. May attempt sabotage. Take necessary action to forestall any such move. Your first special assignment from Washington. That's right. And there'll be two new men by the name of Bruce and Dick working at Lockwood tomorrow. You found it all right. Bring it to the laboratory. Well, Fletcher, did you encounter many difficulties? None at all. As soon as the tide went out, we went into the cove and found this thing lying right there in the rocks. Here, get the top off. Hey, there's a dead body in here. A body, yes, but not a dead one, gentlemen. Here, put these on the wrists right away. Son of Heaven is under hypnotic influence, or what is commonly known as state of animated suspension. I have brought him back to consciousness. He may only come to life for a few moments, but long enough to divulge the information he has been entrusted with. Welcome to the country that will soon be a colony of our expanding empire. Bansai, Prince Daka. I have important message from Tokyo. Secure Lockwood plane with no secret motor. Fly to Pelican Island for rendezvous with submarine. Further information in here. His mission is completed. He is very happy to die. He didn't have a chance to tell you very much. Everything else we must know we will find in here. Something like uh, V-mail, I guess. Exactly, Marshal. Klein, get the screen and projector ready. Remove the body of my brave countryman. Klein, put out the lights. The 
cross marks the hangar where the plane is kept. We shall make a photographic enlargement of this map and study it. Put on the lights. To know where the plane is is one thing. To get it is another. But, gentlemen, I think I have a plan. See the life-size models of the victims of our savage enemies. Why, it'll make you think, my friends. See how they treat their prisoners. It'll make your blood turn cold. That you fellas there, I've noticed you standing there. You build planes. Well, sir, I'm going to do something for you. I'm going to let you see this exhibit absolutely free of charge. And when you get back on your job, you'll build those planes just twice as fast. No, I'm not kidding. Come on. Come on, it's on the house. Come on. What can we lose? We've got a couple hours before we go to work. That's we'll... right. There's a philosophy. Keep by me. Two on the house. It's uh, a pleasure. Thank you, brother. Glad to have you with us, boys. You. Get right in. There, my friends, are two men who are helping us win this war. Those men in the airplane factory, in the munitions plant. Hello? Two mechanics in luck. Can't be the end of the line already. Well, maybe the car got stuck. Let's give it a push. Okay. <coughs> Won't move. Well, it's a good thing we got in free. Ah, this whole thing is from hunger. You said it. Step this way, gentlemen, please. Pretty good, Sacky. Your accent's a little off, but your makeup is perfect. Come on, let's see what he can show us. That's okay with me. This is quite a joint. Yeah, this eh? is more like it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait. Oh, man. Hey, what is this? Now, this is part of the show, it isn't. What? Bring them to the laboratory. on him. What is your name? Jim Bramble. Has the new Lockwood motor been tested yet? Yes, it is being tested every day. Do you or your friend know how to fly a plane? Fred knows how. Good. Let Jeff release him. Have them bring in the other man. They're going to take off any minute. You stick around and keep your eyes open. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to scout around a little. If you need me, get in touch with me on your pocket radio. Okay. Yes, Bruce? I'm in the plane. I want to keep an eye on things while in flight. Happy landing. Looking for someone? Well, how's the ship? She's pre-flighted and ready to go. Burn like a ship. Thanks, Mac. I'll give your regards to the angels. You fellas know you're not supposed to be in here. <laughs>
Bruce. Bruce. Yes, Dick? The two men on the plane are not the Lockwood pilot. Report it to headquarters. I'm riding along till I get to their hideout. your course west by southwest and head for Pelican Island. Batman! Look out behind you, the Batman! Okay, I'll attend to it at once. Zone 14. Battery commander. Captain Wales speaking. There's a stolen plane over your section. Bring it down at once. has discovered a rich radium mine, which Docker is determined to steal. Will Docker's men overpower the rugged prospector? And will Robin be able to upset Docker's evil plans? Don't fail to see Poison Peril, Chapter 6 of Batman, at this theater next week. <laughs>